Massive news, Republican just caught with Muslim terrorists at WH in disturbing plan against Americans. Anti-blasphemy laws have been a massive victory for Muslims across the globe, as now these idiots can have people who speak out and criticize their religion thrown into prison. Courts are now turning their backs on their very own citizens in order to pander to the very group of people who want to kill them, as we continue to hear horrifying stories of citizens in Europe being rounded up and jailed for talking bad about Muslims. Now in a disturbing report that the mainstream media is burying, Senator Marco Rubio has just been exposed for working with known terrorists at the White House to get a bill passed that will criminalize Americans who speak out against Muslims and Islam in a shocking move of treason towards the American people that will leave you speechless. We had enough damage done to our country under the tyrannical rule of Barack Hussein Obama, who was nothing more than a domestic terrorist who worked tirelessly to further the mission of radical Muslims around the world while stabbing America in the back. Well now it appears as though Marco Rubio has just picked up the torch of treason, as he has just been exposed as the traitor who spearheaded a bill with known terrorists that will make speaking out against Muslims and Islam illegal. Rubio worked alongside the Muslim terror group Hamgaj USA, whose members are currently on a terror watch list for their ties to Al-Qaeda. Creeping Sharia reported. On April 4, 2017, the U.S. Senate passed Senate Resolution 118, condemning hate crime and any other form of racism religious or ethnic bias, discrimination, incitement to violence, or animus targeting a minority in the United States. The resolution was drafted by a Muslim organization, MGOD USA, formerly Emerge USA, and the Muslim Public Affairs Council, MPAC. Muslims across America were in full celebration mode commemorating the hard work of Senator Rubio, where MGOD USA put out the following public statement. Thanks to the hard work of Senator Marco Rubio, Senator Dianne Feinstein, Senator Susan Collins and Senator Kamala Harris we have achieved the approval of Senate Resolution 118, an anti-hate crimes bill drafted by Emerge USA. It is days like this that Americans are reminded of this country's founding principles, equal opportunity, freedom, justice. We are proud to help support the protection of these rights hash Amr Perfect Union hash the American Dream. What's chilling is that this bill has passed the Senate and has now gone on to the House, where almost the exact same verbiage was introduced as H.Trees. 257. If passed, this law will create an interagency task force that will then go after people who speak out against Muslims, who are a protected class. H.Trees. 257 urges. The development of an interagency task force led by the Attorney General and bringing together the Department of Justice, the Department of Homeland Security, the Department of Education, the Department of State, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and the Office of the Director of National Intelligence to collaborate on the development of effective strategies and efforts to detect and deter hate crime in order to protect minority communities. The House resolution was referred to the House Committee on the Judiciary on April 6 and from there it was referred to the Subcommittee on Crime, Terrorism, Homeland Security, and Investigations on April 21. Why the hell is Marco Rubio working with Muslim terrorists to persecute Americans who speak out against Islam? MGOD USA's co-founder Karim Wahid is currently on a terror watch list for his extensive work with Al-Qaeda, and as a lawyer, Wahid defended Omar Ahmed Abu Ali, who was sentenced to 30 years in prison for plotting to assassinate President George W. Bush. Here's more on Muslim terrorist Omar Ahmed Abu Ali, who all had worked to defend. NBC News reported back in 2006. An American Muslim was sentenced Wednesday to 30 years in prison for joining al-Qaeda and plotting to assassinate President Bush. Prosecutors had asked for the maximum a life sentence, for Ahmed Omar Abu Ali, a 25-year-old U.S. citizen who was born to a Jordanian father and raised in Falls Church, Virginia. The facts of this case are still astonishing, Prosecutor David Lofman said. Barely a year after September 11, the defendant joined the organization responsible for 3,000 deaths. This is absolutely unbelievable. 
who needs to be concerned with Muslim terrorists running around when you have Marco Rubio up at the White House actively furthering their cause for a complete takeover of our country, our country.